blast was heard to the west of the capital Kiev this morning. An oil depot was also blown up close to the city last night. Ukrainian officials say that Russian troops have entered the country's second largest city, Kharkiv, after an explosion at the gas pipeline in the northeastern city. Well, Ukrainian media is reporting that Russian forces occupy Nova Kakova to the south of the country. Our correspondent Jonah Fisher has sent this report. For a fourth night, Russia waged war on its neighbour. This is an oil depot near an airstrip to the south of Kiev. With toxic smoke filling the air, people have been advised to close their windows and stay indoors. The enemy wants to destroy everything, says the local mayor. To the northeast, not far from the Russian border, a gas pipeline was hit, with the authorities warning of an environmental disaster. But this doesn't look like it was the decisive night for Ukraine's capital that some had feared. Yesterday, all Kiev's residents were instructed to stay inside until Monday, with the city's boxer turned mayor warning of Russians in their midst. The situation in the capital is complicated and tense, he said. The enemy has not broken into the city, but saboteurs are operating. To the west, the desperate exodus is continuing, with long queues at border crossings leaving Ukraine and chaos at train stations. Many of us uh, thought that uh, it's just informational war, but <laughs> you see what happened and we don't understand why Putin does it? We need help from world. We need. We we say help, 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 help. Please, because we here, we here. So we alone here. Four days in, Russia's hopes of a quick victory have not materialized, and Kiev has not fallen. But on the southern front, the Russians are gaining ground and there's plenty of troops, tanks and equipment still waiting to be deployed. Jonah Fisher, BBC News.